Hello folks, welcome to the final section of the course, Deploying Models on Remote Machines. In this section, we will be training and exporting the model and predicting the model. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Dockerizing the Model. In this video, we are going to train and export the model. However, as we get our data processing and machine learning applications off our laptops, we should ensure that 1. We should not complicate our applications just for the sake of deployment and scaling. We should keep our applications simple, which will help us maintain them and ensure integrity over time. 2. We should ensure that our applications behave like they did on our local machine where we developed them. One way to keep your deployments simple, portable, and reproducible is with Docker, and we will utilize it here to deploy our machine learning applications. Docker and the whole container ecosystem has its own set of jargon, which can be confusing, especially for those with experience in things like virtual machines. Before we continue, let's look at some jargon. A Docker image is a collection of data layers that together define a file system, libraries, environmental variables, and so on. Next is a Docker file. It is a file in which you define the various layers of your Docker image. The Docker engine helps you build, manage, and run Docker images. A container or software container is a running instance of a Docker image. A Docker registry is a place where you keep Docker images. This registry could be local or it could be running on a remote machine. To install Docker, you can follow the detailed instructions at Let's now train and export the model. This is the code for doing it. Here we utilize essentially the same code for model training as that from section 4, regression. However, we have made a few tweaks to the code to make it more user-friendly and able to interface with other portions of our workflow. First, we add some command line flags to our application to specify the input directory where our training dataset will be located, and an output directory where we are going to export a persisted representation of our model. Then we parse these command line flags. Then we create a couple of struct types to export the coefficient and intercept of our model to a JSON file. This exported JSON file is essentially a persisted version of our trained model because the coefficients and intercept fully parameterize our model. These structs are defined here. Model info includes the information about the model that is output from the training. Coefficient info includes information about a particular model coefficient. We will still use github.com forward slash sajari forward slash regression to train our model. We will just export the model to the JSON file. The training and exporting of the single regression model is included in this snippet. Here we first fill in the model information, then marshal this information, save the marshaled output to a file with certain permissions. Then for the multiple regression model, the process looks like this. This is self-explanatory. To dockerize these training processes, we need to create a docker file for each of the single regression training programs and the multiple regression training program. Here we have created them. It turns out, however, that we can use essentially the same Docker file for each of these, this Docker file which should be placed in the same directory as our program. Well, this Docker file builds up two of those layers with two Docker file commands, from and add. From Alpine specifies that we want our Docker image file system, applications, and libraries to be based on the official Alpine Linux Docker image available on Docker Hub. The reason that we are using Alpine as a base image is that it is a very small Docker image, making it very portable, and it includes a few Linux shell niceties. Add Go Reg Train specifies that we want to add a Go Reg Train file to the slash directory in the Docker image. This Go Reg train file is actually the Go binary that we are going to build from our Go code. Thus, all the Docker file is saying is that we want to run our Go binary in Alpine Linux. Now we need to build our Go binary before we build our Docker image, because we are copying that Go binary into the image. To do this, we use a make file that looks like this. 
As you can see, make compile will compile our Go binary for the target architecture and name it Go Reg Train. Make Docker will use the Docker engine via the Docker CLI to build an image based on our Docker file and it will tag our image. The D Whitener portion of the tag specifies the Docker Hub username under which we will store our image, in this case, D Whitener. Go Reg Train specifies the name of the image and Single specifies a tagged version of this image. Once the image is built, Make Push will push the newly built Docker image to a registry. In this case, it will push it to Docker Hub under the username of D Whitener. Finally, Make Clean will clean up our binary. As mentioned, this Docker file and Make file are the same for both the single and multiple regression models. However, we will utilize different Docker image tags to differentiate the two models. We will utilize D Whitener, Go Reg Train, Single for the single regression model, and D Whitener, Go Reg Train, Multi for the multiple regression model. To build, push, and clean up, after building the Docker image for either the single or multiple regression models, we can just run make as shown in the code. We enter the password and then we get the output. Here we are not able to push it to the repository as we don't have the access. You can see in the output that the Docker engine built the two layers of our image, tagged the image. We can now see the Docker image in our local registry by using this code. We can also see it on Docker Hub, as shown here. So we have trained and exported the model.